Okay, let's factor each expression completely using common monomial factoring. So let's start first with our first item. We have 10a plus 15. So in order for us to factor this using common monomial factoring, our first step is for us to get the prime factors of each term. So see 10a, let's identify its prime factor. So 10a has a factor of 5 times 2 times a. Now, let's get the prime factors of 15. So, yung prime factors niya ay 5 times 3. Then, kunin natin yung greatest common factor netong dalawang terms na to. So, the common factor of 10, a, and 15 is 5. So, our greatest common factor is 5. Now, in common monomial factoring, since meron tayong GCF, okay, we will factor that out, 5. Tapos, we will divide each term by that greatest common factor. So, in dividing the common factor in each term, para lang nating tinanggal yung common factor. So, kunin lang natin yung natira sa bawat term. So, for our first term, si 10a, pag tinanggal natin si 5, ang matitira na lang is si 2a. So, that will be our first term. Now, sa second term natin, 15, pag tinanggal natin si 5, ang matitira na lang ay 3. So, our second term will be positive 3. And that will give us the factor of 10a plus 15, which is 5 times the quantity of 2a plus 3. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have the second item. Let's factor 12a squared minus 30a. So, in getting the factors of 12a squared minus 30a, kunin muna natin yung prime factors ng bawat term natin. So, let's start first with 12a squared. So, yung prime factors ni 12a squared is 3 times 2 times 2 times a times a. Next, punta naman tayo kay negative 30a. So, yung prime factors ni negative 30a, we will have 5 times 3 times 2 times a times negative 1. So, take note kasama yung negative symbol. So, we will also include that in our factor. Okay, then let's get the greatest common factor of our term. So, ano mga magkakapareho? Meron tayong 3, meron tayong 2, meron tayong a. Let's multiply them and get the greatest common factor. So, the greatest common factor of these two terms will be 6a. So, let's try to factor out 6a in our original polynomial. So, factor out natin si 6a. Now, pag tinanggal natin si 6a sa bawat term, what will be our remaining terms? So, let's remove the common factors. Tanggalin natin lahat ng common factors. Tapos, let's get the remaining factor. So, we will have, for the first term, ang matitira will be 2a. So, that will be 2a. And kay last term, we have 5 times negative 1, which will give us negative 5. So, the factor of 12a squared minus 30a will be equal to 6a times the quantity of 2a minus 5. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have our third item. Let's factor each expression completely using common monomial factoring. Para ma-factor natin si a raised to 4b raised to 3 minus a squared b squared plus 2a raised to 3b, okay? kunin natin yung prime factors of each term. So, let's start first with a raised to 4, b raised to 3. So, kunin natin yung prime factors niya. We will have a times a times a times a times b times b times b. Okay. Next, punta naman tayo kay second term which is negative a squared b squared. So, we will have negative 1 times a times a times b times b. Okay. Next, kunin natin yung prime factors ni 2a raised to 3b. 2a raised to 3b. So, yung prime factors niya, we have 2 times a times a times a times b. 
Now, after getting our prime factors of each term, we will now get the greatest common factor. So, yung greatest common factor na to, ito yung ifa-factor out natin sa ating polynomial. So, let's identify the common factors. We have a common factors na a, another a, and we have b. Okay, so meron pa ba? Wala na. So, let's multiply a times a times b. That will give us our greatest common factor, which is a squared b. Ayan. So, we have our greatest common factor, which is a squared b. Let's factor that out. Ilalabas natin siya. Tapos, para makuha yung other factors natin, yung matitira, let's remove all the common factors. So, cancel natin lahat ng common factors sa ating listahan. Okay? And let's multiply our remaining factors. So, let's start first with the first term. So, sa first term, we have a times a times b times b. So, ang natira sa first term will be a squared b squared. Now, kay second term naman, let's multiply negative 1 times b. So, ang natira kay second term will be negative b. Ayan. And let's proceed to our third term. Okay, let's multiply the remaining factors. We have 2 times a. That will give us positive 2a. And we enclose it with a parenthesis. Now, that will give us the factor of our polynomial, which is a squared b times the quantity a squared b squared minus b plus 2a. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's proceed to our fourth item. So, let's factor 12x squared y raised to 3 plus 16xy squared using common monomial factoring. So, para ma-factor natin tong polynomials na to, so let's identify the prime factors of each term. So, let's start first with 12x squared y cubed. So, yung factors ni 12x squared y cubed, we have 3 times 2 times 2 times 3 x times x times y times y times y. Okay. Next naman, let's get the prime factors of 16xy squared. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times x times y times y. Ayan. So nakuha na natin yung prime factors ng no ating terms. Let's get the greatest common factor of our polynomial. So... First, yung common factor natin, we have 2. We also have another common factor, which is 2. Meron din tayong common factor na x. And meron tayong common factor na y and another y. So, let's multiply our common factors to get our greatest common factor. So, 2 times 2 times x times y times y. That will give us 4xy squared as our, as our greatest common factor. Now, let's factor our polynomial by factoring out 4xy squared. Ayan. So, factor out natin si 4xy squared. Ano yung matitira dun sa polynomial natin pag tinanggal natin si 4xy squared? So, let's remove all our common factors. And let's multiply the remaining factors of each term. So, for our First term, ang natira is 3 times x times y. So, let's multiply them. That will give us a product of 3xy. Okay. Punta naman tayo kay second term. Let's um, multiply the remaining factors. We have 2 times 2. So, the remaining factor for our second term will be plus 4. So, the factor of our polynomial will be equal to 4xy squared times the quantity 3xy plus 4. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have this fifth item. Let's factor this polynomial using the common monomial factoring. So, we have 15x raised to 5y raised to 3 plus 10x cubed y raised to 6 minus 25x squared y raised to 4. So, Para ma-factor natin tong polynomial na to, let's focus our attention dun sa ating numerical coefficients. 
So we have 15, 10, and negative 25. So let's get their prime factors. So 15, ang factors ni 15, we have 5 times 3. Tapos yung 10 naman, yung prime factors niya, we have 5 times 2. And si negative 25, ang prime factors niya, we have 5 times 5 times negative 1. So, let's get the greatest common factor of our numerical coefficient. So, we have a common factor of 5. So, wala nang iba. So, 5 na yan. So, our greatest common factor of our numerical coefficient is equal to 5. So, yun yung ating common factor or greatest common factor na numerical coefficient. Now, let's focus our attention to sa variable. So, looking at our terms, lahat ng terms natin may variable x. So, to get the greatest common factor of that variable x, so, kopyahin natin yung common na variable, then, kopyahin natin yung pinakamaliit na exponent ng variable na yon. So, in this case, it is 2. So, kopyahin natin yan yung exponent ng ating variable x. Now, let's also observe the variable y kung present siya sa lahat ng term. So, meron tayong y dito, another y dito, and sa third term natin, it's another variable y. So, let's copy our common variable, which is y, and then get the exponent of that variable na pinakamaliit. So, the exponent of y that is the smallest is 3. So, ilagay natin siya as the exponent of our variable y. And this will be the greatest common factor of our polynomial. It will be 5x squared y raised to 3. Now, let's get the other factor. So, let's remove the greatest common factor sa polynomial na to. So, pag tinanggal natin si 5 sa numerical coefficient ni first term, okay, ang matitira ay 3. Now, so let's divide x raised to 5 and x raised to 2. Or let's just apply the law of exponent quotient rule. Which is, um, we subtract the exponent of x raised to 5 and x raised to 2. So copy the base and then subtract the exponent. So 5 minus 2, that will give us x raised to 3. Next, y raised to 3 divided by y raised to 3, that will be equal to 1. Kasi magka-cancel out yung ating um, exponent. Kasi 3 minus 3 is 0, so walang matitira. So, for the first term, it will be 3x cubed. Okay, punta naman tayo kay second term. So, second term, let's remove the common factor na 5. Okay, ang matitira ay 2, so positive 2. Now, for the variable, let's apply the loss of exponent quotient rule. So, x cubed divided by x squared. So, x raised to 3 minus 2. That will just give us x raised to 1 or just x. Now, let's divide y raised to 6 and y raised to 3. So, y raised to 6 divided by y raised to 3. That will be equal to y raised to 3. Okay, kasi 6 minus 3 is 3. Now, punta naman tayo kay third term. Okay, so numerical coefficient of the third term, let's remove the common factor na 5. At anong matitira? So, 5 times negative 1, ang matitira is negative 5. Now, let's proceed to dividing our variable of the term by the greatest common factor. So, x squared divided by x squared, that will give us 1. So, 5 times 1 is 1 na lang. So, hindi na natin isusulat yun kasi magka-cancel out na sila. y raised to 4 divided by y raised to 3. So, apply natin yung quotient rule. Copy the base, y. Then, subtract the exponent. 4 minus 3, that will be 1. So, that our third term will be negative 5y. The factor of this polynomial will be 5x squared y raised to 3 times the quantity of 3x cubed plus 2xy cubed minus 5y. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright! Okay, let's have our sixth item. Let's factor this polynomial using the common monomial factoring. So, 14x squared times the quantity x plus y plus 10xy times 
the quantity x plus y. Okay. So, we have this polynomial. So, para ma-factor natin to, let's identify the prime factors of each term. So, let's start first with 14x squared times the quantity x plus y. So, yung prime factors niya, we have the following. We have 7 times 2 times x times x times the quantity x plus y. So, take note that the operation between x squared and yung grouping symbol is multiplication. So, kasama siya sa factors. Then, let's proceed to our second term. We have 10xy times the quantity x plus y. So, i-factor natin yung second term natin. So, the prime factors of 10xy times the quantity x plus y, we have 5 times 2 times x times y times the quantity x plus y. So, again, yung operation between xy and the grouping symbol is multiplication. Kaya siya isa sa mga factors. Then, let's get the greatest common factor of our polynomial. So, greatest common factor natin, let's get the common factor of each term. So, we have common factor of 2, common factor na x, and yung common factor na x plus y. So, pareho silang x plus y. So, that will be our greatest common factor. So, let's factor that out. Labas natin siya. So, we will have 2x times the quantity x plus y as our GCF, our common monomial factors. So, let's remove the common monomial factors and see kung ano yung matitira. That will be our other factor. So, for the first term, ang matitira, pag tinanggal natin yung mga may common factor, will be 7x. So, lagay natin, that will be our first term. Sa so second term naman, pag tinanggal natin yung mga common factor, ang matitira is 5 times y, which is equal to positive 5y. So, we will enclose it with a parenthesis, and the factors, the polynomial, will be equal to 2x times the quantity x plus y times the quantity 7x plus 5y. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright! And that is it! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that is it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.